CompTIA A Plus Core 2, 220-1102, Practice Exam. Questions 121 through 125. This video is part of our practice exam video series and is filled with questions that closely resemble the real exam. So are you prepared to test your knowledge? Great, let's begin. Question 121. An IT technician needs to manage a Windows 10 tablet to ensure it does not exceed a certain amount of cellular data usage during business trips. Which of the following actions is most effective for the technician to achieve this? The answer is, B. Set the connection to be metered. Metered connection is a built-in Windows feature designed to help manage data consumption when confronted with limited data plans. In this scenario, setting the connection to be metered allows the Windows 10 tablet to recognize the cellular data connection as one with limited data availability. This setting will reduce background data usage and prioritize essential data functions. Question 122. A company's IT department wants to ensure that employees have only the necessary access to perform their specific job roles. Which of the following best aligns with this goal? The answer is, C. Least privilege. The principle of least privilege ensures that users are granted the minimum levels of access or permissions needed to perform their job functions. This approach minimizes the potential for misuse of information, whether accidental or intentional. Implementing this principle helps in maintaining a more secure and controlled environment. Question 123. A tech organization has recently implemented a BYOD policy that allows employees to use their personal devices for work purposes. To mitigate the risk of corporate data leakage on these devices, what should the organization implement? The answer is, B. MDM. Mobile Device Management, or MDM, is a security software used by organizations to monitor, manage, and secure mobile devices that are used for work purposes. MDM solutions provide features such as device tracking, data encryption, application management, and remote data wipe, which are crucial for protecting corporate data on personal devices. Implementing MDM helps ensure that all devices comply with the organization's security policies, reducing the risk of corporate data leakage. Additionally, if you did not understand the BYOD acronym, BYOD stands for Bring Your Own Device, a policy that allows employees to use their personal devices, such as smartphones, tablets, and laptops, for work purposes. This approach can increase flexibility and productivity, as employees are often more comfortable and efficient using their own devices. Question 124. A company has a sensitive data center that needs to be secured. They want to ensure that only authorized personnel can enter while maintaining a record of each entry. Which of the following security measures would best meet their requirements? The answer is, D. Access Control Vestibule. An access control vestibule, also known as a mantrap, is a secure space with interlocking doors that only allow one door to open at a time. This setup ensures that individuals must be verified before entering a restricted area. It provides a high level of security by controlling access and maintaining a record of each entry, making it ideal for sensitive areas like data centers. Question 125. An employee working on a laptop encounters difficulties accessing their company's email and other network resources. Upon checking the internet connection, they notice that the Wi-Fi network they are connected to is unfamiliar. The help desk technician suspects that the user may be connected to a rogue access point. What is the first step the help desk technician should advise the user to perform? The answer is, C. Instruct the user to disconnect from the Wi-Fi. When a user is suspected to be connected to a rogue access point, the primary concern is to immediately disconnect from that network to prevent any potential data breach or security threat. Rogue access points can be used by attackers to intercept sensitive data, perform man-in-the-middle attacks, or gain unauthorized access to the device. 
Disconnecting from the suspicious Wi-Fi network minimizes the risk of these threats and allows the technician to further investigate the issue safely. So, did any of these questions give you a tough time? Don't worry if they did, it's all part of the learning process. Luckily, Certification Synergy has a wealth of free video content at your disposal. To stay connected with our latest IT learning resources, just give a quick click on the subscribe button. This simple action ensures you're always updated about our newest video releases. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more great content.